Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Taisha if you are new. So, for today's video, I wanted to do a... I really just wanted to show y'all this red lipstick, but... So, I want to do a Insta Betty, uh video makeup tutorial for you guys today. Hopefully, it's helpful and entertaining. And hopefully, you guys go and, you know, pick up some of the stuff that I use in this video. Um... But I don't want to hold you. I'm not going to ramble on for much longer. Um, anyways, if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so. What are you doing, girl? <laughs> but yeah, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. So, to start this video off, I am going to start with my brows. I moisturized already. So, that should be good. Um, oh wait, I did forget to spray my face. One sec. Anyways, I usually spray my face with the Mario uh, spray. Which kind is this? The rose water spray. And then I use the Morphe um, setting mist. I like this setting spray. It's just not for me because I'm a oily girl. I feel like for anybody else that is a little bit more dry, they will probably love that setting spray. But for me, um, I try to minimize the oil as much as possible. And I realize using a setting spray and a primer just makes my oil worse for some reason so i don't use either one of those um well for what they're for i don't i really just use it to moisturize and that's really it so the i'm gonna zoom in as i do my brows my skin has been like going through a little bit here so i got my little up close and personal on anyways So the normal Instagram baddie eyebrow to me is a little bit different from the way I do mine. Lately mine has been like a little, a bit more natural than I used to do it. My go-to eyebrow was always the Insta baddie eyebrow though. So I'm going to show you guys that today. I'm using this uh, the brow lace pencil to line up my brow and then I'll go back in with the dip brow um actually I'm gonna go in with the makeup revolution one to fill it in So now I'm just going to go in with the Makeup Revolution, um, I'm going to say dip brow because that's what I call all of these, with the brow pomade and chocolate. I feel like I have, I have been forever having the issue of like this eyebrow being too low and this one being too high. It's the concealer that's closer to my skin tone to go over the top. And for that, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Concealer and I think it's in 390. I was upset when I first bought this. I did a whole video and everything that I never posted because I felt like I was a little too late to the party once I finished editing the video. But um, pretty much in that video, I talked about how much I loved the concealer. But I wanted to take it back because I felt like I needed to get a lighter shade. But so far, it's been doing pretty good with what I needed to do. So... So 
So lately, my foundation of choice has been this. This is my go-to, my holy grail, my all-time favorite. I don't know if I said this in the last video or not. I'm not sure if I had this then. But this is definitely my all-time fave. And I've been mixing it with this, which is the Maybelline 24-hour uh, foundation. And because I forgot, I'm going to take that same brush I used for the concealer to go back in at the front of these brows because I don't want them like I like the whole like natural hair then blend out and not the box just feel completely in that brow. So like my thing, sorry. I have been using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in 611 and the Tarte Shape Tape in medium. So, and now that I have got that all blended, I'm gonna go in with my powder. I mixed uh, Ben I Banana Powder, my Laura Mercier powder, and that's pretty much what I put underneath my eyes. I, me personally, lately I have not been baking at all of our makeup. I feel like it looks better if I just like press it into the skin. Um, and then I might leave just a little bit up there and then go back and wipe it off later. But yeah, I'm probably not going to bake. So yeah, I just press it into the skin and then the second layer is just, that's what will probably sit on top and then I'll come back later and dust away. We'll go ahead and contour and then I'll add blush. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and contour. So, what I have been using to contour is my Black Opal Foundation Stick and this Makeup Revolution Foundation Stick. I was just using a powder, which I'm going to use. I'm going to still use it on top, but I really just want a cream contour today. But I have been using my Morphe Brontour. It's a bronzer and contour, and this is in the shade Showman's. I would open it and show it to you, but I broke it. So, <laughs> just great. <laughs> but yeah. So we're gonna start with this first, and then I will go in with the powder. This is really dark, so I'm only gonna use a little bit. And then I'm gonna go over it with black opal since it is a not as dark as that one now I'm gonna go with my powder make sure this is all blended But before I do that, I do, I'm going to use my Fit Me powder and just line underneath to give me a little bit more definition on my contour. And I'm going to take a little, um, eyeshadow brush and put some bronzer on my eyelid now that that's done I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that powder from underneath away and now I'm gonna go in with my blush which you guys should already know 
but my go-to blush is this e.l.f. blush palette. What color is it in? Oh, there is no color. Next, I am going to pop on some lashes. And oh, before I do that, I do want to finish off my eyes and do my highlighter. And today I'm going to be using the. So, y'all, I bought a highlighter and I cannot. It's a Bobbi Brown highlighter. And I have no idea where it is. Well, for now, I'm going to just check with the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. And I'm going to spray a little bit of this Urban Decay All Nighter Spray on my brush. Okay, dokie. Now I am going to pop on some lashes. And I'll be right back. Okay, so now that that part is done, I'm going to go ahead and do my lipstick. Um, I can't show you guys both, but I really think I'm going to just do the red. First, I'm going to line my lip with a brown liner. I want to take my new favorite red, which is the Colored Rain. Um, cherry blossom. Oh, that looks like tears in a bucket. But it's pretty much dry now, so this is what it looks like. I love it. I think this looks bomb AF. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and change my top. I'll be right back. That's pretty much the end of this makeup tutorial though. So stay tuned and I'll come right back. 